Did you know that you can easily call your first API call without any cost and without any single line of code? Hi, my name is Minji, Developer Advocate at Amadeus for Developers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your first API call of Amadeus Self-Service API. Let's get started. So, I am here, developers.amadeus.com. As I mentioned in the previous video, this is the single platform that you will be able to access the Amadeus APIs. So as you can see, there's a two types of the API. And this video, we are going to focus on the self-service API. So in order to have your first API call, you need to register yourself first. So click the right top on the button on the register to register yourself. So here I'm going to type my name, my country, and my email. Business area, I'm an individual developer, password, and this CAPTCHA that makes me annoying, but this is a mandatory. And you agree on the terms of, terms of use and create account. So here, so you say you you will you should confirm your email. So let's go to the, my email. Yes, I received an email. Uh, and so I'm gonna activate my account. So put your email, I uh, put your password, and activate your account. So now your account is activated. Activated. Minji Amadeus Yahoo. Good. So now you are signed in and you will be able to see your name on the right top. So once you're signed in, you can mouse over your name and you will be able to see this My Self Service workspace. So go to the workspace and here you will be able to see all your apps. So now as I'm the new user, I don't have any apps, so let's create it. I will say travel app test and just create it. So now my app for self-service API has been created and you will be able to get your API keys and secret. So if you want to use, if you want to develop your app, you can use this key and secret to authenticate the APIs. But here, in order to make the easy first API call, let's go to the self-service API catalog. So here, let's try one of the API. Uh, I'm going to try my favorite, which is flight over search that it will return all the cheapest flights from the uh, from a given itinerary. So here you can see the of flight of research API reference pages and go to the references. And here you will be able to see all this um, API, open API swagger. So here this uh, flight of research has a two endpoint, post and get. And in this video, I'm just going to try the get. So I just want to see the list of the flights from Sydney to Bangkok. And departure date, okay, May 2nd, sounds good. I will create the tryout. And one other, let's say one child. Let's try. So once you click the execute, uh, as you are all logged in and as you already create your app, the authentication will be done automatically with your API keys and secret. And now, voila you're able to see the response of flight offer search here. So as you can see in the query, you already search from Sydney to Bangkok, departure date May 2nd for one adult and one child. And here you receive like list of the flight offers. So first one, you can see the Sydney from, so this is a stopover flight from Sydney to Manila and Manila to Bangkok. Looks good. So you, in order to like understand what is this, what is like all this uh, response and the parameter, you will be able to see in this API reference pages and all the available information for each parameter is available here. So that's it. This is how you can easily call your self-service API. In next video, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna share with you the differences between test and production environment. And also, apart from the calling your API in the website, we have resources and tools available for you to start building your applications. 
Um, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the uh, YouTube channels and see you in the next video to cover the differences between the environments.